Okay, now I'll see why it's so difficult for me to make YouTube videos. Um, basically, it's because if you don't have everything set up, uh, you spend a lot of time trying to hunt down SD cards, trying to figure out where you put a lens to a camera, all this kind of stuff. Anyway, let me get to the point. Um, normally, I do guitar type videos, um, which I will continue to do, but sometimes I have these stream of consciousness where I'm like, you know, I have something I want to say. So I need to say it to somebody. And when I'm just sitting here in the house, it's kind of like, um, you know, Will Smith and I am legend. I am broadcasting on all AM frequencies. Or, 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 or Tom Hanks and Castaway. Wilson, where are you? <laughs> you know, you're talking to Wilson, that ball, like, you know, by itself. Wilson! Wilson! So anyway, I'm like, look, let me just make this video of what I'm thinking about at the time that I'm thinking about it. So what was I thinking about? So I was thinking about, actually I was fixing to go and record some music, but in the process of going to record that music, I was thinking about um, Pearl. I, well, I was thinking about what I do day to day in my life. Now, a lot of you know me as, you know, Elliot Holden, the urban guitar legend. I play guitar, I make music, uh, but what a lot of people don't know is the way that I've predominantly made a living over the last, I don't know, 15 years is um, through IT. Um, I do programming, uh, DevOps work, web development, um, Oracle database. Uh, recently, I, was, I am working on a project uh, for a client where I'm doing a web app and I'm using Pearl Dancer. And, I, and what Pearl Dancer is, it's, it's like I said, it's a web framework. So it's kind of like uh, Django, uh, Python Django, or Ruby on Rails, or if you do C Sharp.net, maybe use Entity Framework or something like that. Developers, 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 developers. Yes! It's just a framework for, for doing routes, for setting up routes. Like if a person goes to this URL, then do the, perform this action or whatever. But, um, you know, as I was thinking about it, I was just thinking about what an awesome programming language Perl is. And Perl is one of those languages where people are like, you've heard this for years. You're like, Perl's dead. Nobody uses Perl. Um, true, they don't teach it in school a lot anymore, um, but it's far from dead. It's, there's a lot of code out there that's already been written that needs to be maintained. There's new applications uh, that heavily rely on Perl. Like if you do if you do uh, web hosting, you're probably familiar with cPanel. That's all written in Perl. Um, but one of the coolest things about Perl is the actual community, the community of people. Um, I've been a member of the Perl Mongers group for about 15 years now, since 2006, when I first started working at Bell South back then. That's when I became a member of the Perl Mongers group. And um, back then, and even you know a little before then. It wasn't like, there wasn't this big community thing. Pearl started the community thing. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so they started the community thing and, you know, they were one of the first ones to, I think they, they were the first one to start, um, like, the repositories for modules and stuff like that, CPAN. They were first in a lot of stuff. But anyway, so what I basically wanted to say with Pearl is the community is great. We have monthly meetings every month on the first Thursday of every month. And on our meetings, a lot of times, not only do we have like super, super, super smart people that have been members of this meetup group for like 15 years, 16 years, but we have legends that show up at our Pearl Mongers group. For example, Randall Schwartz often hangs out at our Pearl Mongers group. If you don't know who Randall Schwartz is, that's fine, you should Google him. But I'm just gonna show you, Randall Schwartz wrote this book called Learning Pearl along with Brian DeFoy. And um, he's basically a legend. He's a programming legend. He's a genius, he's a guru. Um, much like, you know, we have Bruce Gray. Um, uh, you know, there's uh, the creative Pearl. Uh, Larry Wall. He hasn't showed up yet, but I'm sure he will at some point. Um, I want to say we even we even had Brian DeFoy. Brian DeFoy was, um, you know, um, came to one of our Pearl meetups. We had the creator of uh, 
of SQL Lite a few years ago before COVID came to one of our Pearl meetings. But, um, you know, this is not to, um, well, actually, this is to uplift Pearl, <laughs> but it's not to diss on any other language or whatever. All I'm trying to say is that Pearl is freaking awesome. It can do complete, it can do everything, anything you want to do. I don't want to say everything, but pretty much everything that most people want to do with programming can be done with Perl. So I have really no idea why people kind of keep learning all these like new languages. Nothing wrong with learning new languages. It's just like learning languages when you go to another country or whatever. That's completely fine if you want to know another language. Um, so, But all I can say is if you get good at one language, and in 20 years I can't say that I'm that great at Perl, but... Um, if you get good at one language and you explore everything that it has to offer, you can pretty much handle any task. So if you want to write a web server, you can do that in Perl. If you want web frameworks, you got that in Perl. XML, database stuff, Perl is legendary. String handling, Perl is legendary. Regular expressions, they wrote the book, literally wrote the book on regular expressions. Perl regular expressions are a standard in the programming industry. People refer to it as Perl regular expressions. So, I don't know what to tell you guys. I think Pearl's awesome. And I'm so glad that the newer versions that are coming out, that they decided to just stick with the current numbering version, which is five point whatever. And then when they make the new leap, I think they're gonna uh, move up to Pearl seven. They're gonna skip over six, because that got all mixed up with, um, with Pearl six. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I have to say. Have a great day. Peace.